Hello, my name is Yoki Shin. I'm working in the Affiliate Institute of Atri in South Korea. My team has been researching for control system security of critical infrastructures. In the last season 19, my team member Ume Lee represented our approach to develop a data set. Today, I will introduce Hill based augmented ICS security dataset version 1. We call it high dataset. Please note that the speaker inset is not possible due to our security policies. I will go over the following four contents. Now, let me start by explaining what is the ICS security dataset and how to be used. Recently, AI-based security studies for ICS have been actively conducted. Following their general scheme, the dataset is essential to training, validation, and testing. Training dataset is used to training the model or to get the best model in validation stage. And the testing dataset is used to evaluate the trained model. I say security dataset is a set of the labor time series data collected on the both of the normal and abnormal situation of ICS. It's generally divided into training dataset and the testing dataset. Training dataset has completely normal behaviors because most of anomaly detection studies have been trying to find anomalies different from normal situation. To create a high dataset, we try to solve three problems. Generating training dataset, the first problem is to how to overcome simple process of lab scale test bed. For richer data set, we made a complex process of combining a three real world test bed using Hill simulator. The second problem is that it is the challenge for a human to control the long term operations. So we made an automation tool for a man normal operation. Meanwhile, when generating the testing data set, Typically, manual attacks have many limitations in implementing broad sophisticated attacks and uh, labeling the anomalies and expanding the attacks on the large-scale system. So, high data set, we can automatically launch broad attacks using scalable attack tool. First, Let's look at process augmentation with hardware in the loop simulator. Three real-world test beds were interconnected via a hill simulator. High test beds consist of six process controllers on three industrial controllers. Border process control by Imus Innovation DCS has four controllers for water level, pressure, flow rate, and temperature. Turbine process control by g 6 e DCS only has speed controller. Water treatment process control by g mans SM PLC has water level control. Finally, he simulate emulate two synchronized power generator with a microgrid model. It enhances the correlation between signals not to get precise simulation results. High test beds are automatically operate to minimize human intervention. For five process controllers, their set points were automatically changed five times a day with a random delay. Automation tool checked whether the control is stabilized before sending a new set point for safe use. If system is settled, send a new set point command with a random value within operation range. So. It's necessary to work experimentally to determine safe operation range. Now, let's move on to our attack tool. The last GC workshop, we introduced a scalable attack tool based on a process controller. This method can attack all variables of a process controller. A process controller is a closed loop that attempts to maintain process value at set point, adjusting control outputs. We assume that the attacker can change all these variables by modifying the parameter of a function block, such as calibration, normalization, and control algorithm in control logic.
Also, to effectively generate the attack scenarios, we propose the attack primitives based on process control loop. The attack instance for a single control loop and combined to generating more complex attack scenarios. Implementing attack primitives, we can choose three types of attack. The first one is process value response prevention. It can be used for hiding abnormal process value response on HMI. Both of set point and control output attack can be used to maliciously manipulate the control output value. These attacks can be simultaneously proceed, which makes generating brass attacks very easy. For five process control loop of high test bed, we compose 14 attack primitives with high system impact. In this page, I will show you how to implement an attack primitive with response prevention and set point attack. Implementation procedure is divided into three steps, PCL configuration, attack configuration, and attack scheduling. First, we have to configure PCL variables and their function block parameters. This means that all remote access points are identified to force the function block parameters. Next, we configure attack primitive with response prevention and set point attack. This will replay a normal snapshot of process value and force the set point into any value. All attack primitives are automatically executed by the scheduler at specific time. Finally, attack tool record or first the change of the function block parameters so we can easily extract the precise attack interval and points. In final figure, human operator can now aware abnormal situation on HMI because typically operate only monitors sense value. Being as a reserve, we made a two data set with 38 attack scenarios based on the 13 attack primitives. The first training dataset was collected about 7 days, and testing dataset includes 28 attacks over 4 days. The second training dataset was collected about 4 days, and testing dataset consists of 10 attacks over 1.5 days. Each dataset has 63 columns. The first column is a timestamp, the next 58 columns are data points. The last 4 columns are attack labels. The high data set was a letter released at GitHub and Kaggle. Feel free to leave your message to the repositories. Also, please refer to the technical manual for more details on data set. Our future plans are to improve the data labeling. Improving the data labeling allows more accurate validation of anomaly detection model. We are trying to find the all transient section according to the attacks because even in stealth attack, we can identify transient state using the other correlate sensor or process value. Before I finish my talk, I introduced the first anomaly detection contest with a new high data set. It will be held from August 17th to September 29th. Please note that the foreign participants must team up with at least one Korean and the website is not supported in English. This is the end of my presentation. If you want to ask any question, please leave your message, GitHub, or Kaggle, or email me. Thank you for listening.